what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are all right so i have this quick update to share with you uh, of course you have seen that already on your screen many people is already reacting to this and then i want you guys to also give your own personal opinion on this of course we already are aware that um, on those state election is coming up uh, any moment from now now from what you've seen on your screen security personnel must take oath for ondo governorship election so this is coming from INEC. i mean i am so so shocked and surprised all right so INEC has announced that the security personnel assigned uh, to the november 16 governorship election in ondo state are required to take oath of neutrality <laughs> all right um of course we have reports not once not twice that security operative uh, you know have been facing several allegations of uh, partiality in the previous elections of course it is something uh, not only report it is something that we have been seeing just example they just concluded local government election in river state the only while we had even when police didn't uh, provide security during that election the only uh, footage we had that concerned police was when they hijacked a ballot box. You guys saw that footage, you understand. So people were kind of wondering, what kind of country is this? That election in River State without police went successfully. It went smoothly. No, nothing, nothing. No, uh, no fighting, no hijacking of ballot box no uh, massacre no killing or thereabout but if there was police the ones that we usually have police and other sister agencies you understand are the ones that you see hijacking of ballot box and people are beginning to wonder ah, is it that the police themselves are usually involved because how can election without police go smoothly but election with police usually come with a uh, fighting hijacking of ballot box and they're about you understand so amid anxiety for the forthcoming governorship election in Ondo state i next stated that the security officers who will be sourced from the nigerian police the civil defense the nigerian army the um, you know frlc and the other sister uh, security agents among others must perform their electoral duties in a manner that serves the interest of the nation. All right, so speaking um, during a press briefing in Akure, uh, the state capital yesterday, Monday, uh, the Ondo State Resident Electoral Commission or Commissioner Oluwa Toyin Babalola indicated that the commission has initiated training for security personnel involved in the election uh, with a total of about 11 to 12,000 individuals selected from various security units and formations within the state. All right, guys, so that is the latest I have for you. And then coming back home to what I next says here that the personnel must take an oath. What do they mean by that? Now, you, you now see issues like this coming in a country. Not country, it happens mostly in Africa because this is the main, for you to know the mentality of Africans. You understand that the security personnel will take an oath for neutrality, for election. Are you telling us that even I make themselves? Now, this is it. Let us use our psychological sense. It therefore means that I make themselves don't trust police. And police themselves don't trust themselves when it comes to election. You know, Nigeria election, the, in Nigeria, people see election as, you know, by the time you have monopoly over the judiciary, over the police, and over INEC. Forget about it. You win election. That is just the ideology of Nigerians, the mentality, the mentality of Nigerians. You understand. That is the reason why people will collect money from politicians and tell you they have selected who they want to select. They already know who will win election, whether they vote or they don't vote. That has been the system Nigerians have been uh, running through. You understand? All right, first of all, I usually see, especially in the National Assembly, 
uh, where all these uh, uh, assembly members, lawmakers, you know, take oath with um, using Holy Bible uh, to, you know, take care of their office, be well organized in their office without uh, stealing, siphoning, and thereabout, without laundering Nigerians wealth. They usually swear with the Holy Bible. Guess what? This man swears with Holy Bible because they know that Holy Bible will not have any effect. You understand? They will not have any effect. That is the truth. Nothing but the truth. Have you ever seen Quran being used to swear? Whenever there is a swearing in. I don't think so. I really don't know. But uh, let me know if you know about it. But what I know is that Holy Bible is usually used. Whenever you say, okay, I swear to this, I swear to that, I uphold this, I will do this, I will do that. But these are the same people who keep looting the Nigerian money. These are the same people who keep stealing from Nigerians. But they swear to Holy Bible. Is it not so? Now, let me, let me tell you something. You understand? If you really want these people, I really don't know if Nigerians... Uh, Nigerian government will adapt to this, my own personal opinion, suggestion. They should stop using Holy Bible to swear. Yes, these people or these men are not afraid of the Holy Bible. Now, if you want these people to sit up and walk without to, uh, laundering money, without siphoning, stealing Nigerian's money, let me tell you a simple way. Take Bring strong babalawo. You understand? Bring strong Babalawo from a better shrine. I don't want to mention them. I don't even know. As in, we should know a good Babalawo, a good shrine, strong shrine. You understand? Bring a strong Babalawo from a very strong shrine. Bring it there. Let these people swear. You will see how these people will comport themselves. You will see. That is the only way you will see people in National Assembly. You understand? Sitting up. That is where you see people in the assembly, not siphoning people's money. That is where you see these men working hard, working hard. You understand? We should stop using the Holy Bible. We should stop giving these men Holy Bible to swear. They are not afraid. Even if they swear to that Holy Bible, they will still loan that money. They will steal money. They go hijack, they go cipher, they will do all manner of things. They are not afraid of Holy Bible. You understand? They should bring strong Babala Wo from a very strong shrine. Just try it. Let us try it for once. Just one tenor. They should bring it. You will see it. There will be a very big difference and changes. They are not afraid because I know they will be afraid of that Babala Wo. If they should swear to that shrine and Babalao, they will be afraid of it. More than they are afraid of the Holy Bible. So this one that they are saying police must swear. I like, imagine I like, coming out to tell Nigerians, police will have to swear of neutrality. That means you yourself, you know you don't even trust the police. Yes, it was a big slap that River State organized election, a local government election without police. And the election went on smoothly. It got to a point, people say, so all this while, police are usually behind. Yes, the security agencies are usually behind all the havoc during election. And now INEC is calling for the security agencies to come and swear of neutrality. It doesn't make sense to me. What are they going to swear with? The same Holy Bible, where, national, where lawmakers swear and then do the undo without nothing happening. They should, if I make it serious, they should bring strong Babalawo from a very good shrine. Let these people swear. Yes, that is where the police will sit up. However, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.